Now, this morning, I'd like to change our focus a little bit away from speaking and onto a little bit of marketing, just to help you guys get a picture in your mind of what it's going to take for you to become uh, the number one position for your industry. Now, whatever it is you're going to be teaching, if you can get to the number one positioning, and positioning is a misunderstood thing in many cases in marketing, but here's what positioning means. Positioning means if you hold the position, you've got the right positioning for your product and your service, you are the number one company that people think of. You are the person that people think of when they think about needing a solution for the problem that you solve, that your solution provides. If I say to you, running shoe, you will say, pretty much Nike, yes, because they own that space. The question becomes, however, when people think about whatever it is you're going to provide, are you the number one person they think of? If not, unfortunately, you have to go out there and attract that business, which means you've got to fight very hard to get it. But wouldn't it be better if that business came to you? Every single month, then business comes to you so that you don't have to go out there and chase it. Would that save a lot of time and effort and make you a lot more money, do you think? Yes, yes or no, guys? Yes. Well, it's never been easier, and I've kind of figured this thing out myself now. And having spent years and years of doing the other kind of marketing, of having to go out there and do radio ads and ads in the Metro newspaper um, and other sort of very costly marketing, which, as you know, cost me my second business, I've had to figure out other ways of doing things. Essentially, I fill up all my events doing two things, just two things that fill up my events. And that, uh, actually, probably three. Um, and those are, number one is I speak. So I get invited to speak on many stages around the world just simply because they know I'm a good speaker and I can sell from the stage. All a promoter cares about is, A, can you deliver good value to the audience so that the audience are happy and feel they've got a, a, a good m for their money? And more importantly, can you, can you enroll people in your own course at the end of your 60 or 90 minute talk? Because as I said to you on day one, typically, it is a 50-50 share of the sales that you make. And you should be happy giving them 50% because it will probably cost you more than 50% to put them in the room anyway if you were doing the marketing, if you add up all the costs. So it's well worth it. Um, and the second thing that I do is I use online marketing to drive people to, into my events as well. And I'm going to demonstrate that this morning for you and give an insight into the business and how it works. And the third way is through referrals, which is, a, is an active thing that I do, affiliates, etc. And if any of you are interested in being affiliates to help uh, get more people to my events, then great, see me at some point. We'll be happy to uh, help you to show you how you can make a lot of money doing that. All right, so let's begin now. I want to give you an overview first from the marketing perspective, because everything has changed now in marketing to what it had, was like even just a few years ago. The old adage used to be, ask and you shall receive. Meaning, put up a sales page, have a great sales page, pretty ugly looking sales page, nothing special about it. Sales copy, read the copy, people buy at the end of it. That used to work. Doesn't work anymore. In fact, raise your hands if you've ever read a sales letter on a website. Just raise your hand if you have read a sales letter on a website. Okay? And raise your hands again if you've ever started reading a sales letter and you scroll down to the bottom to find out what the price was before you carried on reading. <laughs> All right, so that clearly doesn't work anymore then, does it? Because the sales letter is written in such a way that causes you to go for a psychological set of triggers so that by the time you get to the price, you are ready to buy. So if you go straight to the price, that, that process doesn't really work anymore. So instead of that, what you guys need to start using, and since you're speakers, you really ought to, is video. You have to make video one of the primary drivers for business that you are going to attract. Because everything's moving to video now online. Tech, we used to be much a text-based web, web, web uh, presences, but now it's not. If you've got a website now, you expect video to be there. 
And because of the advances of technology, broadband speeds, etc., browsers, the, the, there's very little buffering these days, provided you host the video uh, on a video hosting site. You can do it on YouTube or probably better still, Amazon S3, which just basically means there are huge servers that hold the video, which means it loads really, really quickly. So there's none of that horrible buffering that goes on, or very little. Um, so you've got to start using video. Now, you have to understand that even if you're a great speaker will not mean you're good on video. I had to get retrained to be good on video because, frankly, once the person trained me and I looked back at the videos I was doing, I was embarrassed and it was awful. I was making these terrible mistakes that I didn't actually make when I was on stage, but when you put me in front of a camera, I was making them all the time and it wasn't that effective. Having said that, even my old videos were still pulling in, you know, 500 plus people per month. Now the new videos are creating uh, at least nearly twice as much as that. So that's the kind of difference it makes. Let me give you an overview now of what you need to do. The number one thing you have to do as someone who is looking to become a, a, mar a grey market position is you have to add value. So what that means is uh, and there's no place in your workbooks for this, so this is an additional session. Um, essentially, you can't just meet someone for the first time online, as in they go to your website and find you, and sell to them. You, you can't do, I mean, you can, but it'll be very, very ineffective. So instead, what you do is you start building a longer term relationship with them, meaning you start giving them value for nothing, because the free line has moved, which means that what people used to give away for free, now people aren't interested, people won't even give you their email address for that. They're just not interested. You know, you, you, raise your hand if you know what I mean by an opt-in, please. Raise your hand if you know what I mean by an opt-in. Okay, good. So for those of you who don't value the camera, if people are listening at home, then essentially an opt-in is where people go to your website, and you give them the option to opt in for some free stuff and respond in return for their contact details, typically their first and maybe surname and their email address. However, the days of sign up for my free newsletter are well and truly over. Nobody is going to sign up for your, very few people are going to sign up for your newsletter. It's just not good enough quality. And am I right in thinking that you have to, the, the person has to work much harder these days to get your first name and your email address out of you? Is that true? Yeah. Than maybe five years ago. Because you get all this junk stuff, don't you? And so instead of that, the person, you have to go, I want this. You have to be really convinced you want it. So you've got to give away much more than you ever did. So people start giving away video. But then they give away a, minute, a video that's five minutes long. And people are still doing that. And still, right, I'm changing things. I, hopefully, I'm at the forefront of changing things. When you sign up to my free stuff, you get 30-minute videos of how to, how to learn to become a great professional speaker. And they're really good, professionally shot, amazing, good-looking, amazing content videos. Because I want to give you way more than you expect. You go, gee, this guy is like really good. This is good stuff. And I'm going to show you some of that stuff this morning. So that's what you have to do. You have to create amazing content. Do not fear. Do not fear online giving too much away. Well, you and I both know you're not giving too much away, and why not? Because what, in, even in your 30-minute video, how will you structure <laughs> your content in a 30-minute video? Do we know how now to keep our content at this chunked level here? Will we show them a model, yes or no? Yes. And we build beliefs, yes or no? Yes, but we're not going to go into the detail, are we, of how to do this and how to do that. So it's, it's still great content. It gives them the concepts of what they need without the detail of the too many how steps, if that makes sense to you. Does that make sense to you? And I, I'm quite fortunate in many ways because with, with professional speaking, even if I give away some of the secrets, they still can't do it. They still need to do it and get feedback along the way. So I can afford to give away a bit more, but depending on what you do, you probably can't because if you're giving away the website to go to and how to do this and how to do that and all this kind of thing. If you're doing marketing or too many of the things you're giving away, um, you may find that the person gets full up. 
So here is the overview of what you've got to do. I'm hoping that's working. Yes, okay. This is based on uh, an event I did a little while back, 5,000 pound event called Seven Figure Expert. Uh, I don't run that event just now. Um, but essentially, this is one of the slides from it. And what you have to do is you first need to get people to opt in from Google, YouTube, or a joint venture. Are you guys familiar with what a joint venture is? Raise your hand if you know what a joint venture is. Okay, so a joint venture is essentially where you join up with another list owner, somebody who has a list of people who are a high probability client for you, meaning they are, if you're seminars, they're seminar goers, they're investors in themselves, things like that. People who have, they're not direct competition because the joint venture is going to be with someone who has a list who's not selling exactly the same thing as you, but something that's kind of similar to you and complementary. They already have the relationship with that person already. They're already adding value to that list, hopefully not just selling to it. And then what you do is you give them a link to your website where they can opt in and get loads more great value. And then you start a relationship with them as well. It's fundamentally one of the best ways of building lists. I do it all the time. Okay. But you also want to create YouTube videos and you want to get those YouTube videos ranked so that when people search for a search term relating to your topic, your video comes up as on the first page of YouTube. Now, YouTube is now the number two search engine in the world. Google is number one. YouTube is the, top, is the second best search engine, which shows you just how much video has changed the way people search. Because now, People go directly to YouTube to search for things they used to search for in Yahoo and also Google. Because depending on the topic that you're teaching, they don't want to read about it. They want to see it on a video. So people do that now. And what's also interesting, though, is if you get it right, and we can certainly we show you how to do this in the, in the academy, or I can certainly, if you want to go further with that, I can guide you to the people that done it all for me. Um, once you get a listing in, in YouTube for your video, if you get a high listing, that same listing on YouTube will now appear in Google. So if you type into the first page of Google, then actually your video will still appear on the, on the rankings, as in on the first page, but it will be a little thumbnail of your video there. Now, how brilliant is that? Because what are you more likely to click on in Google? A link that has text or a link that has a video with you standing there looking like you're going to teach something on the topic. Would you agree? Yes or no, guys? Yeah, very good. So this is what you can do. Now, am I saying you're going to do this overnight? No, it's taking me about five months to build the campaign I'm about to re reveal to you in a minute. Is it worth the effort? Yes, it is. Is it worth the money? Yes, it is. Because the alternative is running at, rushing out there to try to, to win that business over and over and over again rather than getting it coming to you. All right, so let's say they come to your, uh, they come to your website, and I'll show you this in action in a minute and they opt in because you're going to give them this great series of videos that you're going to give them. Then what happens is you start building the value. You start giving them those videos. So in my, in my case, I tell them they're going to get four free videos on public speaking. They're all around 30 minutes long. So that's video number one that they would receive. It's not actually that video anymore because that's the old one. I've reshot it. It's better than that now. Then a few days later, provided they've watched that one, and yes, I know if you've watched it, because we have software that tells me whether you've watched it or not, I will then give you video two. However, if you haven't watched video one, I won't give you video two. Instead, you get reminders from me to watch video one for the rest of your life. <laughs> Every two days, you'll get a reminder from me. There's about six different emails that are written, all with different copy and different reasons to, to watch it. You get all those six, and once you finish those six, it just loops back to, the, to, to, to reminder number one. It keeps on going until you either opt out and say, will you stop and leave me alone, or you go watch it. Okay? That's a good salesperson working for you right there, isn't it? Yes or no, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Right? 
So you're going to need, if you're going to take yourself seriously, you're going to need a, um, a, a contact management system that does this for you. The one that I use, the gold standard, is called Infusion. Run by a company called Infusion Soft. And this is the premier one that everyone uses in my market as a top level speaker or expert because it does way more for you than just an autoresponder. An autoresponder is just one where you set emails up and it sends them out automatically. It does that brilliantly, but it does loads of other stuff that you need to do as well. In fact, my very next public, uh, Professional Speakers Academy meeting, which is actually next week, next Sunday, my very next meeting, I am actually demonstrating how all of that software and all that, all that whole system works in more detail for at least half of the meeting. And I'm bringing in my expert guy that set it all up for me to be here. So that's good for the academy members at the back of the room. We, they, by request, they asked for it, so I'm bringing in my expert to show them. So if they watch video one, we'll give them video two. If they watch video two, we'll give them video three. Then what we do is after now, now by the way, if I've now given those videos over the course of let's say 10 days, 30 minutes in length, have I started to position myself as an expert, as an authority in my subject, and start to build trust, credibility as well? What do you think? Yes or no, guys? Yes. yes. See, here's how things have changed. The old way we used to do things as speakers about 10 years ago was what we would do is we'd send people to a page. On that page, we'd tell them to sign up for our free event. That's what I used to do. And you'd come to my three-hour breakthrough event, and at that event, I would have you come in, deliver great value, and sell to you at the end. But here's the problem. Only 65% of people ever showed up. 35% of people, because its effort didn't bother. That was 10 years ago. The sharp rate today is 15%. If you do a free event, your show up rate, you can have 100 people sign up, only 15 people will show up. Even if you remind them, you send a text, you send emails, you send a letter, you phone call them, you do all those things, you're still only going to get maximum maybe 20% of 25% of people will actually show up because there's too many they, they've seen it before there's too many options around there's too many things there's too much effort people just don't do it anymore free events free events free events free events free events well they're 10 a penny 10 years ago free event oh it's exciting free event i get to go to a free event free event <laughs> free event and everyone knows you're going to sell to them so you know people don't show up to those events so much anymore okay so this replaces that this replaces it entirely because they opt in value, 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 which is the same thing you'd be giving in your seminar, live format, except they don't have to leave their house. And if they don't show up, as in they don't watch the video, you keep on forcing them to watch it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, they, so you get 100% of the people pretty much go through your psychological process that means you're gonna, uh, a sale uh, hopefully will drop out at the end. So we, if they've done it, and they're video one, video two, video three, we then give them the offer video. So we now offer them something. And I'm going to demonstrate this. I'll show you it in a minute. I'll show you the very, how it all works in, in the mechanics of it. We give them an offer. Now, I do more than this, but in its basic format, I do way more than this, but in this basic format, we do an offer, which is, again, another video but during this video, you're going to present an opportunity for them to enroll in something or to get some product that you've designed or made. Then what you do is you upsell them. So if, if they buy, if they buy, on the order page, you upsell them, which means you say, great, thank you very much. Oh, by the way, would you like to add this? Don't good salespeople do that? Don't they put add-ons on? Don't you, when you buy a car, they say, oh, sir, would you like the extra different special alloy wheels? They give you a service on top, don't they? Something on top, on top. Because when the wallet's open, when the person is in a buying state, they're the most opportune time for an upsell. Now, what you could also do is you can do a downsell. 
So let's say they don't buy. Well, then a few days later, you can offer them a downsell. Another product that is cheaper than the one that you tried to sell them the first time that they didn't buy. Downsell. And then when you've done all that, you return back to value. And what that means is, you then have to have, after you've done your initial sequence, your initial campaign, you need to put them into a value sequence, which might be your 52 tips thing, which every week they get a tip from you. Now, I would suggest that isn't a text-based tip. It's either a video, or probably better would be an audio postcard. It's basically a little audio from you, five minutes, with a little tip for five minutes of some content. How quickly is that to do? Easy. You press, you go into your Mac if you've got a Mac, and you go into GarageBand and you record your voice. If you're on a PC, you can, have, you can download something called Audacity, and you just record your voice. Five minutes. Convert it to an MP3 file, put it onto a website, send a link to it, they come to it, they listen to your five minute tip. Fantastic. Keeps on giving value. And here's the reason why you have to keep on sending them emails. You must keep on sending them emails. And here's the reason. If you don't send your list emails within two months, then your email is considered by law to be spam. Because one of the things about spam is, it's considered spam if you're not consistently in touch. If they haven't heard from you two months and you send something, it's spam. So you're better off sending more emails and less emails. But send more emails of content. If all you send them is a sale offer, a sale offer, a sale offer, they're going to opt out or stop opening your emails. Does that make sense? Because nobody wants to open, nobody wants to be sold to the entire time. Look, one of the most popular shows in the UK is The X Factor. Whether you like it or not, it's one of the most popular shows. And they have advert breaks. Now, whether you like the advert breaks or not, doesn't matter. The point is, you will, most people will sit through the advert breaks. Why? Because X Factor is coming on at the end. Which means that X Factor is the value, and then in between, they have ad breaks. This is exactly the same what you do as, a, as, a, as an expert. You add value by giving them content, and then every four or five emails you send of content, you send them another offer. Does that make sense? Raise your hand if you understand, please. Say, I, I. this is how it works. Okay? So that's, that's it in a nutshell. So what I'm going to do now is, if Tosin, if you just go to, uh, to my uh, safari there at the bottom. See it? And if you go there, but this is YouTube. So if we type and types in public speaking into YouTube, as you can just click the link below there, because I think it's come up already. Okay, so that's now going to search the entire internet, the whole world, whether you're in China or whatever, um, for, the, for the term public speaking. As you see, Andy Harrington's video is the number one video right there, public speaking and public speaking. So in fact, if you scroll down, you'll actually see we're also number four. So we're number one and we're number four. And if you go scroll down a bit of thing, I think we're number eight as well. There we go. So I've got three videos on the first page of YouTube. Do you think that might help drive some traffic for me? Yes or no, guys? Yes. Okay, let's actually look at that first video. The top two videos, by the way, they're ads, as you see. So they're, they're not proper videos. They're just ads. People are paying for that. Hi, I'm, paying I'm Eddie Harrington, founder of the Public Speakers University. And I have a question for you. Just take it back out of there, mate. What is it? Actually, that's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's go ahead. Hi, I'm Eddie Harrington, founder of the Public Speakers University. And I have a question for you. What is Pause. it that sets apart those fantastic... Okay, what do I start with? Same thing. So people all say, but how do you, your question, how do you get the answers? You still ask the question, it's just rhetorical. You just answer your own question, does that make sense? But you still use questions to put them into a state of, I want to know the answer. Because questions equal what? Interest. So I'm asked the question, which they want to know. They've typed in public speaking, and I've gone, what is it that sets apart the fantastic speakers of the world from those also rands? Yeah, makes you want to carry on watching for the next five seconds. Everything I'm doing is trying to make you watch for another five seconds. Because that's about as long as their attention span is online. The first time they watch this video, 
like, there's, there's a big chance they'll click away within a few seconds. So I've got to do something to grab them very quickly. Notice the setup here. It's in my house, it's in my kitchen at home, and they're actually there, and I've actually turned, and I'm like talking to them behind me. And now I'm starting to walk, and it's like, follow me. What does that make me? That's right. Okay, go ahead. Six speakers in the world from those just also rants. I count myself incredibly privileged now to have shared the stage with some incredible speakers, people you probably know. People like Sir Richard Branson, positioning, Alan Sugar. Positioning. It's all positioning stuff, yes? Brian Tracy. Just go back to the... Uh, is that you pausing, mate? Yeah. Okay, just play it now, it's fine. Tracy. Anthony Robbins. T. Harvecker. Bob Proctor. So what is it that stands apart those fantastic speakers from the people that just get by? Well, I can tell you it's just a few things. But it's a few things done really, really well. So what I do with you in this video is share with you some Tell, of the secrets that you what's also make next. you a fantastic speaker. So what we're going to do in a few moments Pause. is we're going to go through to my studio. And we're gonna... Right, see this big screen there? It, you can't see it so well on this big screen because it's blown up. On a smaller screen, it's more clear. It says high performance public speaking. It's got three circles on it. Okay? So what are you thinking? What is it, yes? Okay, watch what happens watch some live footage of me presenting at say the London O2 Arena and also at the Excel Center in London to some very large audiences and I want to share with you some public speaking tips that can really help you turn yourself from somebody that wants to be a great speaker to someone who is a great speaker so come on let's get started right now follow me into the studio and let's take a look at some of this live footage and let's see if we can make you a fantastic speaker in just the next few days come on pause so what happened to the thing There's nothing i didn't answer it which leaves you with a burning question what the hell is that which makes you carry on watching okay so now we're going to go into my away from my kitchen into the home studio go ahead mate so now I'm taking, you're following me again, yes? Come on. <laughs> Hi, so welcome to the studio. Let's take a look at the very first clip from the London O2 Arena. Please welcome to the stage. That's in the Excel Centre, but it didn't matter. Harrington! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, good afternoon. Before I begin, I always like to check that I am in the right place. So what am so I going to do here, many... guys? What am I going to do? Ask questions, yes? Okay, just keep playing. If you closely. are here uh, this weekend because you'd like to have more money, please, by a show of hands. And not only do you want to have more money, how many of you here also want to have some more time to enjoy their money please by show of hands. In fact, say aye. So one of the most important things to begin to do so little clever is things like that are really useful, video in video. And you must start by asking the audience I don't know how to a do question. It. Somebody else a question that engages them and a question that gets them responding to you. Because ultimately, you want to be able to lead this audience. And you can't lead individuals, but you can lead a group. Okay, pause, mate. So by asking the question and getting... Have I done any selling directly at all at this point? No, I'm just adding value, aren't I? But what will I want them to do as a result of watching this video? You already wrote it down. It was on the screen earlier. What do I want them to do? They can't opt in from here. They can't opt in from YouTube. You can't opt in from YouTube. My opt-in form is not on YouTube, is it? Where is it? So what do I want them to do? Go to my website. Okay, the entire video is to get them to go to my website because they don't have the ability to capture their details. I could get them to subscribe to my channel, but I'd rather get them <laughs> over into my opt-in form. Okay, carry on, Tosin. And to universally agree with you, you begin to unite them as a team and unite yourself as their leader. Let's now take a look at clip number two. I decided to go and borrow some money from a bank. So this is my story in its very short happy. edited format. And they wouldn't lend me any. Well, that business today, which is still in business today, has pulled in more than 50 million pounds. 50 million. 
here's the thing. There's nothing special about me. I'm regular, ordinary, everyday kind of person. I look at her going, I haven't seen this before. Again, you see it, but you go, what is that? Or maybe that's is that? why you're here. Question, what was that funny? Why was that funny? Maybe it's meant to be you. What's meant to be me? It's all One of the most important it's things you do is to develop your story. You see, it's your story that positions you as the expert. More than ever, it's your struggle that helps you to become an authority First in your First bit of subject. selling coming. And what great speakers do is they concentrate on developing, crafting and delivering that story in a way that helps them connect with the audience. If you're interested in public speaking, look right below this video and you'll see a link. Click it and you'll get access to a vault of videos that can help you with your public speaking. Let's now take a look at clip number three. We don't just do it once, we do it some twice. Some blocks and limitations in some way that up to this point keep preventing you from having the life that you deserve. Who'd agree with that? Raise your hand and say aye. aye. Now you've seen this, but this is the edited this version. This chair represents shorter on YouTube. the block. This represents the limitation. We cut. What limitation? What do you mean I treat people harshly? What do you mean I didn't make that phone call? What do you mean I'm not very organised and planned? What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't see it. What are you saying? And of course, everybody else can see it, <laughs> except them. Because you cannot succeed with this thing around. This is an old thing that needs to go. That's all edited, yes? Yeah? Short, short, short. At the end of your presentation, you want to call people to action on your message. You want them to implement your advice. Because leaders enroll people, and so do great speakers. If you want to improve your public speaking skills, Look right below this video Second in the cell. description area and you'll see a link. Click it and you'll get instant access to a vault of free training videos and helping you to become even better at public speaking. So look right below now, see that link, click it and get access to those resources. I look forward to seeing you there in just a few moments. Now, if you're interested in public speaking, is there a fair chance you might now have a result of watching that go to the website? Do you think yes or no? That's it. How difficult do you want it to be? Right, so let's go down to the website. Next tab along. Ah, yeah, go ahead. That's it. So this is where they'd now go, and the, the video would automatically play. So just click play, Tosin. Notice they have the first name and email address to put in. Actually, just come back to come out from full screen. Turn it up. Hi, a bit. I'm Andy Harrington, founder of the Public Speakers University. And today, we're at the awe-inspiring London O2 Arena, where I've had the privilege of presenting to more than 8,000 people. Now, if you're watching this video, it's probably because you're starting to give presentations to larger groups of people, or at the very least, you want to. Or perhaps you're a coach, a consultant, an author, a manager, or an industry expert who wants to be seen as a key person of influence in your niche. This is the first in a series of videos where I'm going to share with you exactly how to be totally comfortable and confident on stage in front of large groups of people. I'm going to share with you how to develop a presentation that will leave your audiences wowed with your message. In fact, I'll share with you the very secrets that took me from wannabe speaker to headline performer right here at the biggest arena in Europe. However, let me say this. If you're looking for a run-of-the-mill standard train-the-trainer course, then... Right, here is, I guarantee... How many people have ever done a video before, made a video? Either you post it on YouTube or not? I guarantee you made or are making this mistake. You try to do it all in one take. You, are, you have made or are you making this mistake? How do they make a movie? One go? No. Load of different scenes, isn't there? Have we just seen a cut? Have we just cut to a different shot, yes or no? So the first bit, I only had to do 45 seconds right. And now, well, 1 minute and 20 it was, but if you include the, the sequence before, it's only about 45 seconds of speaking. Now we've cut, so this is, we stopped, we moved, we started another shot, does that make sense? You do the same. Don't try to do it all in one go. If you get to 4 minutes and 59 seconds of a 5 minute video, you fuck it up, you've got to start again, haven't you? You've got to do the whole thing again. Do it in small, bite-sized chunks. That's it. And change the camera angle each time that you cut to a new shot. Because if you don't change the camera angle, you'll go... Uh, like that on a video. 
Because if you now cut from one thing to the next thing, unless you're standing in exactly the same position you're in before you cut, you're going to uh, jump on the camera, aren't you? Raise your hand if you understand what I mean, please. Yeah? So cut to a completely different shot, the person goes, oh, we're in a new place. So we've cut to a close-up now. Okay, good. Carry on, mate. Do yourself a favour and please click away now. But if instead you want to gain insight into what truly great speakers do to make ten times the income of Mr. and Mrs. Average, then this is exactly what these videos will give you. A stress-free system cuts, new cuts. so you can perform at your peak every time you speak. Video in, video so you can see what you'll be signing up for. you'll wow your audiences with your message. You're getting that. And a storytelling system that guarantees you standing ovations and massive back-of-the-room sales. In fact, you'll even get to see me do all of this live on the stage right here at the London O2 Arena so you know that it really works. Now look, these videos are completely free of charge and there's no sale here either. So to get started immediately, go ahead and put your first name and email address in and you can be watching the first of these in just the next few moments. Pop in your home address Pause. and I'll give you the live record. What did I just say? Pop in your home address, I just said. When was the last time you saw an opt-in form ask for your home address? They never ask for your home address. And here's why that's not a very good idea. Because only around 15, maybe 20% of your emails will ever get opened. So that means for every 100 names you collect, only 20 people are actually opening the email you're sending them. That's just deliverability rates and spam folders and folders and all that kind of stuff, right? However, if you get an address, an envelope addressed to you, personally looking, are you likely to open it most of the time? Yes or no, guys? Yeah. Definitely. Anyway, come on, yes or no, guys? Yeah. Come on, stay with me here. I'm giving you golden nuggets. You better wake up. I'm giving you the keys to a vault of money. Here's the interesting fact. 75% of people, so what I'm offering them is I'm offering them, I'm offering them four videos... I'm offering them four videos for first name, surname, and email address. I'm offering them one additional video, which is the live recording of my entire O2 presentation, if you give me your home address as well. 75% of people give me their home address as well. How is that useful? It's very, very useful because if I do this sequence I spoke about before, and when I show them the offer video they don't buy, could I, a week later, send them, in the post, a direct mail piece with the same offer? Yes, yes or no, guys? Yes. Would that work, potentially? Yes, because more people might read it. So there we are. Carry on, Tosin. 25-minute presentation at the O2 Arena that pulled in more than £460,000 in sales. Look, over the last 10 years, my companies have pulled in more than £57 million in sales. Not to mention that I've shared the stage with the likes of Sir Richard Branson, Alan Sugar, Bob Proctor, Brian Tracy, and also Anthony Robbins. But let me tell you this, there's nothing special about me. But there's something very special about the techniques that you'll pick up in this video series. So, if you're a business owner, a manager in charge of a team, an entrepreneur, a coach, a consultant, a seminar leader, or just someone who wants to get your message out there, this is exactly what these videos will give you. So go ahead now and enter your first name and your email address and I'll see you on the other side. Oh, remember, put in your home address and I'll send you the 75 minute of my video presentation at the O2 Arena completely free of charge. So go ahead and enter your details right now. Okay, that's it. That was professionally shot, I had someone video it for me, I even had somebody help me do, to direct it, to tell me when to smile, what to look, etc. Because sometimes you need that. Just, just click play on that. And now what you see in the top right hand corner, automatically playing now. Now that the opt-in video has stopped here, on the left, look what's happening on the top right. This is called a silent opt-in. Meaning, there's no music to it, there's no voice to it. But it's an example of what you're getting if you put your details underneath. Might that attract the eye across from the right, from the left to the right? Yes or no, guys? Yeah. And again, it tells them what to do. Every now and again, it has a bit of text come up. Might not about read it where you are. But the text, when it comes up, it says, put your first name, email address in below to get these four free videos. And also put your home address in if you want to get this other video, blah, 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 blah. Fantastic. There we go. 
Okay, then let's go across to the next tab. So if you sign up, if you enroll, this is the very next thing. Just drag that back a bit, Tosin, the bottom there. No, 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 sorry. The, uh, the uh, time code on the bottom. No, 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 no. On the bottom of the video, drag that back. This is what you receive if you opt in. Hi, Andy Harrington here, and thanks for requesting my training videos on public speaking. But to access them, I need you to go to your email. Find one with a subject line, here's the videos you asked for. Open up that email, and inside, you're requested to do two things. One, hit reply to tell me you've received the email, and two, click the link within it to access video number one. The video goes for 33 minutes and is full of great transformational content that help to get you to the next level as a speaker. Watch out for the shocking story about Brian Tracy towards the end. Now in a few moments, this video is going to stop and I'll look something like this. But don't wait for that to happen. Go ahead right now and click the link in the email with the subject line, here's the videos you're asked for. Now remember to check your spam or junk email filter because quite possibly the email may first go straight into that. So remember to go ahead and check your spam or junk email filter as well as your normal inbox. Go ahead and do that now and I'll see you again in video number one in just a few moments. That's an incredibly important step to have in because here's what happens. If you send them directly from your opt-in video directly to video number one without this step in between, they haven't done something called double opt-in. And as far as your autoresponder is concerned, that, that, that might be seen by their, at their end as junk. So it may not ever get through to them. It may not get there, or it might go into the junk email filter. Do this, and it might. You also said, I said, do two things. One, send me an email back to let me know you've got it. And two, click the link in it. Why do I want them to send me an email back to say they've got it? Because if they email me back personally, it might put me into their address book which means I'm their friend. Does that make sense? Yes or no, guys? Yeah. Which again means my emails are more likely to drop straight into their inbox rather than in their junk email. Okay, good. So they've done that. Next one. So this is all happening on the same day. Go across Tosin. So now they've done that. They go and click on the link. Hi, and welcome to our first training session together. Now look, most speakers will never make it to the big time because in front of big audiences, they literally become scared stiff. Their presentations become boring and even wooden. So in today's session, we're going to go through the stress-free speaker system so you never dry up or break down on stage. So follow me now to the home studio and let's take you through this. Pause. So at this point, you're probably thinking to yourself, Okay, so that's all like, so what have I done now? I, I walked out the O2 Arena after doing a presentation. It wasn't actually after doing a presentation, but you would assume that from how I said it. And now I've walked out, you've signed up, we're carrying on our journey. I'm taking you from the O2 Arena, where am I taking you? All the way back home again. Where are you now? You're in my car, you're my friend. I'm taking you home with me, does that make sense? Think of the, psycho the psychology of what's going on. You're sitting in my car, as I now take you and talk to you as if you were my passenger in my seat. That's exactly what it would be like if you were in my seat. I'm putting you in the scene. Remember we say that, put people in the scene? Yes or no, guys? Yes. You know, when you do a story, well, now, now you're in the scene. You're in my car. So now what I'm going to do, I'm well, going to tell you a story sure now of how I screwed speak. things up well, look, I don't want so you that to I'm not perfect. Anything blindly that I have to say. Instead, it's probably a better idea if you kind of put into practice the things that I'm going to share with you. And you'll probably find the magical effect they can have on both well, you and your presentations. Look, I can still remember the very first presentation I ever did. I was working for Churchill Insurance and they asked me to give a presentation to five people. And I was completely overcome with fear. And the thing was, I also made some pretty stupid mistakes as well. Because one of the things you begin with as a presenter... So I'm knocking not myself off my pedestal now, yes? On purpose. And I was fiddling I'm with just uh, like the you. flip chart pen. So much so that it must have been completely irritating to the audience. I, I told you this story yesterday, I think. the lid back on again. And 
I was I was pretty boring as well, to be honest, and I must have bored them into submission. But let me tell you, that wasn't the worst thing, because when I had finished the presentation, I went into the restroom afterwards to wash my hands, and there was pen on my hands, but some of that pen had got transferred to the middle of my forehead, and I'd been presenting with this giant black spot right here in the middle of my head. So as you can see, being a well-rewarded professional speaker is not something that anyone's born with, but it is something that you can learn to become. However, let me make a distinction. What you're about to learn is not your classical public speaker training. Look, there's more than enough organizations doing that already. Toastmasters, the Professional Speakers Association, and a thousand and one other train-the-trainer courses. What you're about to learn are techniques that can make you into a professional speaker inside months, not years, and may just make you thousands, if not millions, from sharing your advice. So look, this is exactly why now we're into that I developed pause, the stress-free speaker system. So now we're into that training thing where we've got the, like you have in this seminar here, with your title on the top and your things covered over, yeah? So I'm just going to give them the simple model of how to do it in like a very simple format within 30 minutes. Each time I reveal a step, all I'm going to do is simply give them a story or a university experience or an activity that demonstrates each one of those points in the next, well, until the next 20 or 25 minutes or so. And then that video finishes. At the end of this video, just scroll down, Tosin. Scroll down. Okay, at the end of the video, I tell them to comment on the video. Please comment on this video. This little plug in here at the bottom, okay, if you now comment on that, and Alice is actually logged in as Becky, because it's Becky's computer running off today, because I stole it from her. Um, if you comment on that, what will now happen is that comment will appear on Becky's uh, profile page. Now then, if they click on that, if the person clicks on that profile page, it will take them to my opt-in. Is that useful? Oh, wow, the excitement of this room has reached a fever pitch now. <laughs> Did I do all of this myself? No. I am a speaker. I am a marketer. I understand how it should work. Somebody else does that work for me. Make sense? I outsourced it to somebody else to do it for me and just manage the project. It's as simple as that. Okay? Then they obviously would get the next video. Just go to the next tab quickly. We won't watch this video because obviously it's uh, too long. But there we are. It's another, vi another video. We won't play it, but that's another video that they watch. This is a real connection video. I tell my story here, the story I told, my personal story, to really connect with them, really close up with camera. If you just play for a second, you'll see how much really connected it is. We'll just watch it for a minute or two. I obviously refer to the previous video. Hey, Andy Harrington here, founder of the Public Speakers University. And I want to first start this video by saying thank you. Thank you so much for all the comments that you've been making about the previous videos in this series. It's so heartwarming for me to know that there are people like you out there looking to make a difference in the world as a speaker. I also want you to know that no matter what your life conditions are, you can make it as a speaker. Because if you'd have been with me over 12 years ago, you'd have seen a very different Andy Harrington. Look at the at connection with the camera, okay? Churchill you get Church. entirely that I'm talking and just to you. I was making around 1,500 a month. I mean, that was it. And there's always too much month at the end of the money. But I made a decision. At that point in my life, I was going to start my own business. Okay, great. Let's stop now, there. Pause that there, mate. I didn't have any money to start. Go to the next one. This one has a new... A, go back to the back of the beginning of this one. This one has a slightly different beginning to it. No, no, sorry. Go back to... Just draw it back. Draw back the, uh, the slider. You speak English, yes? <laughs> no, go to, the go to the previous tab. No, not that one. Storytelling. Storytelling. <laughs> Two to the right. That's the one. And the slider at the bottom, the time slider, slide it back to the beginning. That's it, great. Press play. There's a slightly different beginning to this one.
I must have seen the Lion King movie literally dozens of times over the years. Because Hollywood and Disney really know how to tell a story. And if you want to be seen as a true professional and a great speaker, you must learn how to deliver your presentation and your key points through stories. So in this presentation, this video, I'm going to share with you my secret storytelling okay, system stop there, stop there. that may one day sit... And I want to do is I give them like a very, a very small version of it, like only get four or five points rather than the big 12 that you got. Um, and eventually we're going to give them to the offer video. Just go to the offer video quickly. There you go. So this is the offer video now. So now, this, now they've got all that. In the last video I tell them, the next video that's coming, I'm going, to show, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to sell as a speaker, which I am, so I'm going to sell to you. So I demonstrate how to sell to you by selling to you. Okay? Press play. Okay. Another question for you. How do you take your life experiences and your specialist knowledge and become a world-class speaker? But not just a world-class speaker, but someone that can influence from the stage and make hundreds of thousands from just one single presentation. Well, that's something I've dedicated the last 10 years of my life to figuring out how to do. You see, I believe that we all have something to contribute. Two camera and through angles. the art of professional speaking, you can get your message out there and you can have giant paydays at the same time make a real difference in people's lives. Look, I consider myself incredibly fortunate now blah, blah, to blah, have blah. spoken okay, all pause. over the world in some of the most prestigious venues. Pause. I've spoken. Great. And you notice that behind me, I told you yesterday, they are going to be the bonuses I'm going to reveal. So in the moment I'm going to tell you there's these $55,000 worth of bonuses, because remember, I, I price this all in dollars, because Americans are buying this as well, because I'm selling a product. Does that make sense? Which is the live recordings uh, of this program. Make sense? That's how it works. Um, in fact, we're just updating right now what people are buying online because we're recording it right now. So what, you are going to be in the product that people get all around the world. So if you happen to be on this stage at any point, and some of you have, I think, been on the stage before, uh, then you are now going worldwide, George. And I think he deserves that, don't you? Yeah. All right, so anyway, eventually that then, that then uh, uh, drops in and it's a sales video, and there's a big, amazing, irresistible offer at the end, and we get a percentage of people those buy. Now, consider I get 500, and at the moment it's about 550, 580 people will opt in every single month worldwide. So, you do the math. How many, how, what percentage do I need to convert to make me a lot of money? Well, I don't know if you happen to have a calculator with you, but if anybody does, you can certainly welcome to do so. You got your iPhone there, anybody? It's got a calculator on it. So if you, if you calculate, well, an average website about with a, with a targeted audience who've gone there because they're searching for what you're selling, if you were to be able to um, get a 0.5 to 1.5% conversion, that's typical, but with a multi-sequence, multi-step, long-term campaign, that can go up to, could easily go up to 10%, but let's say 3 4%. So let's do 4%, okay? So 4% of 500 and, let's say 580. What is 4% of 580? 580 divided by 100 times 4. Anybody doing that on the calculator? 23. Okay, so 23 times 1997. 46,000 per month. Okay? Times by 12 gives you the annual income. That's just from YouTube. What about if I add Google in? What about if we add joint ventures into that as well? What about a joint venture? Could I at least double that with joint ventures, do you think? I can double it with joint ventures. So now we're talking 100,000 per month just on the front end, meaning just on the first thing that I offer them. What about the fact that then there's other things that I would encourage them to take with me to take their knowledge even further? Yes or no, guys? Can you begin to see how the numbers stack up very quickly? Raise your hand if you're in love with this already, please. Raise your hand and say, aye. aye. Good. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this section. There's lots more to it, by the way, because I let you into a secret that I don't stop after the sales video. And that's where most people stop. So if you don't buy on the sales video, then three days later, I, I'll give you an option to come into a webinar. On that webinar, I'll give you more value and sell to you. If that doesn't work, then I'll send you into an interview, an audio interview, and on that, I'll sell to you. Then I'll send you another video, and another video. I keep on giving you value, and eventually selling to you. 
Make sense? I keep on giving you value and keep on selling to you until eventually you'll do it. And then I'll shut it out. Meaning, literally, at some point I'll say, okay, this offer's finishing, you've got 36 hours left, then we're closing it down, you won't be able to get it. And I have the ability to close it down for person A, but not person B. So I can close it down for you if you've been in the sequence, but anybody coming at the top end, it's not closed, they can still go through it. Which is extremely powerful to do. Okay? We can change it. And of course, this is the stuff we're teaching at the uh, academy as well, is how to do this, and also give you access to the kind of people that can put this stuff together for you, rather than you have to just learn it and do it all yourself, which is... Unfortunately, what most people try to do is try to do it all themselves, and unfortunately, because either you're not an expert and or you're too busy to have the time, it often doesn't actually get done, which is a real shame, because if it was to get done, you'd make the kind of income that you deserve to have. Remember, the amount of money that you think you're worth and the amount of money that you're actually worth are two different things. The amount of money you're actually worth or could be worth if you implemented what I'm giving you here, has got at least three more zeros on the end of it. At least. So if you think you're only worth 30,000, you're probably worth at least three million per year. If you were to adapt, because essentially, what's the difference between Anthony Robbins and any other NLP practitioner? What's the difference? Positioning, promotion, marketing. That's it. And because he's got that positioning, and he's spoken to more people than most people, it's, he's become even more positioning, meaning he's got better at what he does. Does that make sense? Because he's had the opportunity to become better at it, because he's, been, he's put himself on the line that he's had to. Meaning when 9-11 came round, for example, and he was doing a seminar in Hawaii that was being recorded, he had to show up. But you would have done if you were there. But you didn't get the chance because you weren't. You weren't on that stage at that time. So it's very easy for every single person in this room to think to yourself, I'm just little old me. Who's going to listen to me? How could I ever get number one positioning? Blah, 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 blah. Well, I count myself very fortunate. I got into that situation, Robbins, where I went, you know what, I'm going to do it. So I don't know, maybe he magically gave me some energy or something that made me believe that I could do it. I don't know. But maybe you can pick up some of that energy from me or from the people around you or the coaches or the crew or any, any guys that are here. Because what a shame it would be. Because the hell on earth, and it was Keith Cunningham, I think, that I heard say this, is that hell on earth is meeting the person that you could have been. You want to be able to get to the very end of your life, whether, whether that's when you're 85 or 90, 95 or 100 or 105. You want to get into the end of your life, and when that party's there to celebrate your life, you want to, be able to look around at all the people's lives that you've touched. You want to, be able to look at all of that and say, you know what? I can go now. I'm good with that. Not regret. Because if you ask most people at the end of their lives what they'd say, and they have, what would you do differently? They say one thing and one thing only. I wish I'd taken more risks. That's all they say. I wish I'd done more. I wish I hadn't waited so long. Don't wait. Claim life. As somebody once said to me, death is whispering in your ear. I'm coming. Live. So live.